All right, ready? This hey, is the tricky part. <laughs> Beat and the chorus. Ruin the my intro time. more. The Ryan Girdler of conversations. <laughs> oh, who? The Ryan Girdler of girls, and you're the Ryan Girdler of conversations. Nah, that's Griffo, bro. Ryan Girdler of conversations. Oh, you're the PNG version. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, version. Hey, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, not really Ice Project One. Got two boys in the house, so roll the intro. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice. But it's life I cannot change. Hey, welcome back to the show. Um, in the house, Chico Sigiaro, what's up? What's going on, Ice Project? Do you want an intro me? song? No? That's my intro song. You can be that she one. She's seen money all oh, nah, that was his, That's his one, that's his one. Take <laughs> one. <laughs> one is hijacked to be <laughs> One is yeah. beautiful yeah. morning. Yeah, I'll get it on for you next time. Yeah, and uh, co-host. <laughs> <laughs> you like what's that, still, man? What's still, man? What's up, man? Here you go, She's bro. money all around me. Like I'm the man. What's going on? I showed you that song, eh? No, boy. Yes, I did. Please don't start this. Oh, man. <laughs> I showed you that song. Wow, we're here doing a podcast, man. Relax. Mm. Nah, you, not much, gonna be man. after me now. Not much, man. Five different accounts. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not much, but cruising. Notice I'll send her to get a freaking Instagram account <laughs> just so you can be after me. What do you want to have to check? Nah, not much. Just finished work, actually. At Flow? Yeah, at Flow. Express. How's it going? Yeah, really good. Um, it was a little bit quiet. After lunchtime, so I was able to like proper smack out some coffees and practice heaps Can more. Can you pour a decent coffee yet? Yeah, yeah, just latte art. I'm no, done, honestly, probably. bro. Yeah. I I'll 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 go for a taste one, bro. Ask Frizz and um, uh, Latsy, they came in today. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Actually, um, snap, oh, <laughs> screenshot the thing. I said, oh, geez, thanks, boys, for the uh, text. <laughs> yeah, Channel so, 9 actually came in and had a little bit of a again, chat to Gypsy, yeah. Jeez, they're getting some coverage, aren't they? Mm, Fuck, they've mm. been coming in lately, eh? Hey, yeah. I'll tell you what, boys. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you're there, Chick? Oh, I think it's just because they're... Yeah, not because both, of, bit, bit bit of both. Yeah, because Jason's sort of yeah, ex-player, yeah. plus he's sort of taken me through the... I don't know. Yeah, process of it. Yeah, the process of it, like, because oh. I want to learn, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, so your, your dream's always been to open a cafe, huh? Yeah, not always my dream, but yeah, after the last, I think, six years or so. He's always talked about it, though, ain't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. Back up in Cairns. Yeah, yeah, that's what I... Do you want to end up in Cairns, honestly? Yeah, I'd I'd love to end up back home, eh, honestly. (laughs) Rank! Yeah, I know, I'm just... Is there a rank button over there? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I got one, eh? Is that a... Yeah, but, um, you know, us country boys... Ah. But just just a boy from the sticks, just trying to make away in a big smoke, you know what I mean, cuz? That's it. What would your cafe be called? I haven't even thought about that, but I just, I'll just, I've thought about how the concept of it and the whole what the layout. layout. Farm, yeah, eh? isn't it farm? Yeah, like, but yeah. I don't want to give too much away. You know, there's a lot of people listening at this. <laughs> it's, apparently, it's top five in the whole world. So no, it's top top ten podcast in the world. The boys have been hating on me ever since. Normie's oh, been, no, I haven't. Normie's haven't. been after me the last couple of weeks. Oh, these two oh. have been going at each other, man. Wow. No, it's these two versus me at the moment because they live yeah. together and they're trying to team up. I told them last night you wouldn't be able to strip the ball <laughs> two on one. Oh, I'll tell you no, what, you've been after me. All right. So the, obviously people have been asking the drop kick or that sort of. Sh- yeah, that was yeah, that was cool. As, um, Do you feel confident heading it or, or when you get in the ball? Well, I've got a, I'm terrible. Like I've got the worst strike rate at it. So I just said, yeah, I'll have a crack. Yeah, 100. I missed it. I missed it. If I got it, I got it. So the best it is when you put your finger up, bro. I was like, yes. And you just as soon as yeah. you hit it, like it was about. Yeah, point one of a second you went like this. Yeah, no, nah, it was one of them ones where yeah. you just it came off the boot, and I was like, oh, yeah. Sounds, sounds I don't know, I've never, I've never hit one, so. Yeah, so I was, <laughs> and nah, it was good. It was good. It was, it was good, like, because as a club, we needed it, so. Jeez, didn't it? Yeah, that a bit one, eh? off, it would have been scary oh, after yeah. that. Especially up there, man. It's so hard to have been up there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I wasn't on the, um, you know, the. The raid, I mean, the um, dragon, no, nah, the dragon's um, fans. I wasn't, you know. Um, you know, their best friend before that field goal. But I think after I hit it, you know, a few came around. So oh, let's go. Let's go. How's your footy going, Chick? Yeah, not too bad. Um, still playing for Newtown. It's got to wait till, um, obviously, the salary cap reasons. Top 30, whole rule came in about um, that when, when we just, when they agreed to the CBA. Yeah. Um, sort of was good the CBA, the money, but the amount of money the boys got, but in other terms of how, it's all structured in the top 30 and that stuff like that. Like it, a lot of players that should be playing in NRL still now had to go overseas where I – like they have, they have families and stuff like that. So they have to work – they put them first and the, the, the club's got more power on whether they can choose who's going to be in the top 30 in the sense of um, they don't have to say 
like who can be in the top thirty uh, November. Yeah, you meant to release your squad straight up. Straight up, you yeah. know what I mean. Don't they um, hold one spot now? Yeah, too? that's what I mean. So that's hold like, one or two spots. Twenty nine. So yeah. they, they always hold twenty. Yeah, twenty nine. Why top thirty nine? Uh, well, top thirty now. And they don't have to release it. Um, it's not even about they, releasing. I think they just hold it. Yeah. Just um, have they the, have the power now. Have the have the um, cap. Some money in the cap and that. Yeah. Oh, it's just just in case something. Yeah, just a little safety net. That's why. Just when the new year top, comes. That's why that top thirty kind of you know brought, like stuffed him around a bit. I think. Do you can but even like a prime example of Ricky Latelli. You know what I mean? Like play like that should be. I reckon should be still in the NRL. And Didn't he just take off though? Yeah, I thought he got yeah, better but money. Yeah, but like you know what I mean? It was back and forth, back and forth near negotiations, and had something straight up on the table that which he's thinking about his family in the long run. You know what I mean? Yeah, everyone's got to do that though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like. Um, with with like managers and stuff like with the club, you know you know what they're like, and he knows what the negotiations types like. Is he doesn't want to come to his period, like, yeah. which is November, and then having to worry about oh where I'm going to play, I got to take so sort of clubs, like what happened to you. Oh well, they're like the, the clubs allowed to wait for a long, a extended period where they they, they can lowball them, yeah. lowball players and p- players that are desperate. Take it, eh? And yeah. I'm t- taking it, you know what I mean? Which is I um, wasn't too bad, but because like, I got good friends, thank you very much. <laughs> Good friends and like good family and stuff. I don't, I don't have to worry about kids, like kids yeah, and other yeah. stuff. Like that, so yeah, it'd be a lot harder if you had a family, eh? Did you oh, watch, did, I couldn't imagine, man. No, nah, but you like like you said, you just take your, your best option. Like you wouldn't wait around. Like if, if someone's offering you more, you just probably go there. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be because yeah, he signed pretty early, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah but um, that's yeah. He, but he's he, definitely he, he's definitely good in terms of playing, but he's definitely good enough. Oh, hundred percent. Well, yeah. good on him. You know, he's he's secured himself. You know, three years and sort of like maybe to, hopefully he can set up his family. Yeah. Good, good spot over in Toronto, check, man. Oh, good, yeah, he is champion, a good lad, eh? Hey. The best, one of the best blokes. He's just funny. Did you watch? Did you watch the footy last night? Uh, a little bit of it. Yeah. Did you see Lexi get pumped? <laughs> I, I thought it played really good. I don't, no, no, I don't know. No, Lexi. No, he tried to put a shot on, but he got all fucking jolted. <laughs> <Did he? laughs> no, I didn't see. But I thought I can't believe they're trying to offload him, mate. I thought he was unreal last night. Like, yeah, he's good. Yeah, you can you can <sighs> see he's a young like, As soon as he got the ball, he's like yeah. leg speed and stuff. Like, he was getting it. Fine as front. Mm, he's, oh, and soon, like you said during the week, Jello straight on the edge, scored a try straight yeah, away. Yeah, but he was he, he was wasted in the middle. Like he, he <laughs> was just in the middle. Yeah, don't make him do like fifty tackles, yeah. shit hit ups. He's not. He's not like he can do it. He's good at it. But as soon as he's on the edge, wow. Yeah. yeah he's, even when you're half, because he's so big and rangy and awkward. Eh? He's yeah, long, he's, he's mong yeah, as well. Weird. Mongy, offload. He's a yeah, weird he's bloke good. to tackle. Mm. And then his step just comes up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to break his knee sometimes when he's like. <laughs> yeah, he gets hit off these weird angles and it seems to like keep his feet in his yeah. shit. Hey, it's fucking weird. Um, so we're just going to go off some random questions that people have inboxed us right now. Thank um, you, everyone. Nipsey Hustle, Death and his Legacy. You guys are really, really big into music. What's your thoughts on yeah. that? Um, to be honest, I've never heard much of Nipsey Hustle, but. Um, I've seen just all snippets and stuff of like what he was about other than music. So yeah. yeah he's cool, eh? Yeah, yeah that's mad. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, I, I respect he only um kind of made it mainstream last year with that album. Mm. And um I, like I didn't hear much of him before that. Yeah. But um yeah. before he went mainstream, I think he was pretty pretty big with everyone before he went mainstream. So all the big dogs come out and, and support of him, eh? Yeah, and they're still like days after, eh? They're still yeah. putting posts up. So so it must have been pretty massive. You know, before he was ma- it's um, all about mainstream, community and so. stuff, which is good. And like, he underst- I understood that vintage interview of him, like talking about not getting jewelry and not popping bottles and stuff. Like talking about getting oh, buying, yeah, I've seen buying that, yeah. businesses and buying yeah. like you know houses and real estate, investing his money in the right area. So in that sense, he's sort of like entrepreneur. Gary, I seen Gary Vaynerchuk is very big with him. Yeah, he is. Eh? Man, yeah. he's like he's so emotional, man. Yeah, who's Gary, that? Oh, no, Gary like, V. Yeah. Love, oh, love oh, the New Zealand Nipsey. version of Isaac. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not the New Zealand, <laughs> the New York version of Isaac. Uh. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, he's a big oh, one. The best copy up. paste. <laughs> <laughs> Intercept. Anything else, Chick? <laughs> <laughs> um, just a few random ones. Favorite NBA team and why? Mine's Portland Trailblazers. Are you going to stay with them? We're sick of you changing teams at the moment. Oh, he's been the, the Browns. He's a Cleveland Browns fan. Nah, at the you know I was there after no, hard knock. No. Josh Gordon, Nijukic, no, <laughs> n- n- someone. <laughs> what a fan, man. Nah, nah, nah. I don't okay. know how you say his last What a cameras, man. What a cameras. <laughs> nah, but yeah, nah, Actually, last year. Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I've always been Portland. You know I have. I'm not trying to be mad on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. After me on the podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Not the sixth platform. <laughs> what about you? Ah, uh, Bulls. 
Are you going to stay with him? Yeah, I'll, like I don't really know him anymore. Mm. But I'll just pause because of Derek Rose. They might like, get, they're really good. They so might get Zion. Rose. Oh, really? Other yeah. Than, um, Knicks are going to get him. Nah, it's, I think I think Chicago got the best chance. They got the most things in the lottery. Oh, yeah. I reckon KD's going over to a to Knicks. Oh, is he? Really? Yeah. Or just because... Oh, they reckon he's definitely leaving Golden State. Yeah. Just because where, um, they're, where they're situated? I, th- I think he's Better just, for money and like... No, nah, I think he's just uh, over. He needs a proper challenge. Yeah, man. but do you know what I mean? Like, New York is like... Yeah, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't need that. He's Kevin Durant. Like, yeah, but I don't know. Him. I know, but like, when you, when you listen to the herd and stuff like that, like... Yeah, there's three big meccas. Like, yeah, you know, like, like you know, LA, 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 yeah, yeah Miami but, yeah. there. And he wants his, his um, shoes... And that with Green him and Draymond Green, aren't they? Aren't they still? Yeah, a little still. bit. Eh? But apparently, um, he he states his residence in Texas because he played for the Longhorns. Yeah, um, down Isn't there. Is that a taxing? Yeah, tax yeah. reason. So he's he's got his house based in um, yeah, Texas. How good? Because I don't think they pay real little tax. Oh, really? Have more yeah. money and try save more money. It's too smart, the boys. Yeah, eh? Hundred. The rich keep keep getting richer, huh? Oh, that's it. Uh, balancing life and fame. <laughs> <laughs> There's no uh, fun. Yeah. Not no the promo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them a story about the promo, man. Oh. Oh, Bali. What, 660? Yeah. Went, went to go watch 660. Everyone's taking photos of the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that big dude? He was following me. Around. He was yeah. massive. What, what, the Kiwi Ross. Oh, yeah, the yeah. one with the no, had no hair? Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross. Up, yeah. Upstairs? He's a bro, bro. Kept, kept like... Yeah. Bro. I love what you guys doing. I love what you guys doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sick. Um, Coffee or tea, which is better? And what is your coffee? Double shot piccolo. I yeah. like tea too, but yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't drink. Oh, what? Not as often. in like green tea or just oh, normal tea? Know. It's a quite a broad question, isn't it? Yeah. I have uh, tea when we're having like um, yeah. shisha. Yeah, peppermint tea. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That's good. Tell them your little combo at the moment with the shisha. Oh, the little yeah. uh, sour worms or gummy sour babies, sour or? babies or sour worms, something like that. Geez, they're addictive, aren't they? <sighs> Crazy. Nice, they're nice. Uh, yeah, a little, you got a little sweet tooth lately, actually. Actually, they're not lately, just in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. new diet norms. What's, yeah. what's going on? Oh, Tell pescatarian. Us about that. Pescatarian, help yourself. Help yourself. <laughs> what no. a vlogger. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went there. I just, I don't Surely know. Surely start that. I, I just did it. Hey, something different. Mm. I, you know, like I've tried a few things. So, um, how are you feeling with it? Nah, I feel what, hectic. What, what else have but you tried? You know, but what you, else have you tried? Nah, the fasting and shit. Oh, okay, yeah. But um, How'd but, you get onto that? But yeah, Chico, man, Pilates, everyone's doing <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, just oi, relax. I just have a say say a word. Yeah. Um, no, I just got on it, and um, my main reason was because I was um smashing chocolate too much, and um, I just thought, you know what, I'll just get, <laughs> get on this so I can um just um keep eating chocolate. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> Swear to what God, a, what a theory, man. <laughs> so you're wow. dodging red meat so you can eat chocolate? No, nah, not and chicken, and oh. plus I just feel lighter. I feel good. Mm. Feels good. What are you doing at the moment? But health? you know what I mean. But I just whatever. You eat pretty clean normally, eh? Yeah, I've I have with with fasting. You can sort of eat a little bit, a little bit bad. But it just I'm just, just been fasting. What's your fasting routine? My fasting routine is from eight to at least twelve. Eight at night to twelve. So you got yeah. the six to, is it sixteen eight ratio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, but you he trims up pretty quick, eh? Yeah, I done the um for what, two what? weeks. I done the the fasting one, which is like two days full, two full days, like twenty. 20 something hours, no, no, like 20 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fast, like yeah, four hours oh, to yeah. eat. And like, I was like, before, like, after Bali mm. or after before after Christmas, man, I was like big, like too muscly. Mm. Like, I was pretty big, I was yeah. pretty thick in that. And um, I was like 88 or something. Came, what do you play at? 85, 84, but came down like straight away at like 84. Just from fasting? Fasting, but I was training as well and just doing fasting cardio when I'm training. Um, just, uh, taking some um, carnitine or carnitine. Yeah, is that good? Right? Yeah, it's it's the best. What's that? Does that hold your muscle or no, is that no, recovery? No, no, turns turns uh, fat into energy. Oh, so like keto. Keto. it's like a keto. Oh. It puts your body in ketosis. Oh, okay, see. So, so uh, what do you play at norms now? Nah, uh, 92, 93. I was watching this thing I on. Um, I was watching this thing on Instagram. In oh, highlight, yeah, and Slater right. was putting on. But oh, you look big, yeah. eh? I was ninety eight kegs there. You, you're running quick though. Yeah, ninety eight. Right. Bit solid back in the day. Oh, That's what we had to be. I had to be over 97 kegs. So you're playing eight kgs, or what are you now? Now, oh, um, game day weight's about 92.5, yeah, 93. Crunchies, man. Mm. Mm. So, mm. what What was that? Four. Five kilos, fast, yeah, hectic. That's Heaps, sick. Uh, yeah. adds up quick, yeah, 100%. Um, let's go. Questions here, stories from when you three all lived together. How long you got? <laughs> <laughs> got a couple of little doozies, eh. 
What about if, um, I'll tell you one story, man. So this this guy moves in. Like, Are you telling the Uncle Albert story? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, 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 nah, I'm just tell, telling the story how um, oh, yeah, you help, we helped going. him move. Oh, yeah, I know. Wait, tell him helped the, you move all the, all the washing machine story. Yeah, tell him the washing machine story. Man. That's <laughs> so this guy moves in um, and he goes, <laughs> we obviously got to move everything of his. And he had a washing machine. I already had one, like washing machine and a dryer. So it was like perfect. And he goes, it was, it was pretty heavy, like washing machine. Just, oh, I'll leave you at the front here, bro. I'll be mad when we were, on, when we were having like a couple of drinks, just start uh, turning into an esky. <laughs> <laughs> the washing machine stayed there for six months. We had to. Uh, well, I think I gave it away. I gave it away. To Remember gave it to did? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. yeah. And it actually Not worked. even six months, like maybe a year. We yeah, like, it was. It was getting for... rusty in that. But, but the... I had this mad theory, like if we were, you know, having a few beers and that, we'd just put ice in that bit in there the and thing then put was your that... drinks in there, close the lid. Was that yeah, the front I see thing? where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, imagination, but can't lose it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if um, if no one's really got the time to like had 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 the time to meet Normie, he could definitely like convince you. Oh yeah. He's, he's very, very convincing. Like very I, persuasive that, like now now I'm thinking back or whatever, I listen to him. <laughs> He was like, man, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've had some vouchers over your time, oh. mate. I wish we wrote them down or Or the uh, to-do list. Oh, wait. Oh, I've got to do this, got to do that. <laughs> Tell them the um, electricity story, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. So um, a I went to go moving with Chico and um, – how long have been? A couple of days or a week? Nah, I, I think it, it <laughs> might have been about four days. Yeah. So I went into moving with Chico, right? And um, obviously he was living by himself. So, and he, he no, got Chico um, was there. Right, yeah. So one of the other boys was there and um, he got this bill for $900 <laughs> electricity <laughs> bill. <laughs> and, he, and then he had the hide to hit me up. He goes, Bah, $900 electricity bill. Can you pay some? I was just, Bah, I've been in here for four days. <laughs> <laughs> and he asked you for 300 eh? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to split it thirds. <laughs> It was oh, worth a shot. Oh, I'll tell you what, have you played electricity lately? Oh. Oh. I guess the old Brad Takarangi trick, that one. Right. He got me a beard in Bali. Like it was just me on my own and him and his missus and Eddie Pettiborn and his missus. Yeah. Oh. They were there the whole day or only jumped in for the last two drinks and he tried to split the ball three ways with me. I was going, yeah, no was way. That is classic tactics. Yeah. He goes, yeah, but I'll just go thirds. I was like, well, pay for your missus in that as well. Yeah. No, thank you. What about um, Hoz? Wasn't he the best? Yeah, he's good at that too. Justin Horro. Oh, oh what about that time um, <laughs> when um, <laughs> when I didn't have a polo when I stayed over and it was freezing? I had this blanket over my head and because it was cold and I went Where to was go this at? At, at Silverwater and I went on Chico's room to go get a um, polo when it was dark. Oh yeah, <laughs> screaming out, Normie! Yeah, he's, he jumped up oh. on the bed. He goes, Ah, oh, oh, Normie, Normie! <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're scared oh, of the dark, eh? Um, nah. Oh, so we got I, we got plenty more. I think I think we'll release some of them. Um, Maybe after footy, yeah. <laughs> when his yeah, yeah. boys retire, hundred. Yeah, we have got some belters. No, nah, we, we do have some belters, eh? Yeah, yeah. The old Simos are one of the doozies. Which one? No, the no. latsies at the back and looking. Like they just mel- basically his body was melted ice cream. There's a few. Uh, yeah, it's basically Bender stories, really. Yeah. It, fasting man, ever been on the Bender? <laughs> 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 Seventy-two hour fast. Oh. <laughs> Hydrated too. Oh, oh, I tell you what. You want to get ripped up? No, nah, the best one was actually my. Remember my room downstairs, the dungeon. Yeah, that was a good yeah. spot, eh? Yeah, but um, we 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 essentially made a room for hangovers. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, that was yeah, it was a good little uh, good little space down there. Mm. All right, so back to YKTR and Tech Project coming pretty soon. You boys excited about that? Mm. Mm. Very excited. Looks too. cool, eh? Yeah. Oi, was oh, I wasn't even trying, trying to take the piece. Is that old mate that you've hired, or is that you? No, nah, that's me. Mate. Yeah. Oh, okay, he, he, yeah. He told us going to do that. No, nah, he said he's I getting old, mate. Like, no, nah, he does YKTR stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was like, what's funny? And then you didn't reply. I was like, oh, he must think I'm you've taking been, the piss. You've been shit lately. <laughs> I don't know when to take you serious. <laughs> yeah. No, no, because remember, because that last stuff you said um, with the um, YKTR and you're going to hire him. Yeah. yeah. I just thought you were going to get him to... Um, just turn it off and on again. I thought you were going to get him to do like obviously he's going to do some of that stuff. That's yeah. why I was like, Nah, that was me today. Cause, just cause knocking him out. Yeah. Nah, but I remember you saying like that's what you can do. Show me one or two designs of how yeah. you're going to do it, and I was like, Yes. Yeah, With that little loading and all that different. Yeah, I thought that was. Him, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't yeah, yeah. I'm like, right. What's funny, man? He wouldn't reply. I was right. like, oh. Too many days off, man. Trying to shit stir. And <laughs> bored. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. So we've been playing a little bit of basketball lately. We got pumped from the boys, eh? Oh, you know what? I'm not even angry either. Yeah, yeah. They're, oh, they're just too good on the day. Yeah, oh, look, we, I wasn't we even trying though. We, we weren't even trying, like legit. What you're going test match? 
<laughs> they what do you mean? To... What running base? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they almost had we'll, to put we'll... the anthem before the game. PNG <laughs> one. Oh. <laughs> well, like, it's not my fault that someone's like six foot seven nah. and I'm five foot two. Nah, and they he's weren't. standing post and he's just going like that. Boom. Nah, they were that little guy. He's just he on me. S- that was on me. Nah. He's not tall. Nowitzki he's just yeah. in the paint. Oh yeah, he's not tall. Taller than me. He, he's, Five he, foot three. His, his arms felt like they were freaking pterodactyls. Nah, I feel like he was short, eh? I think guy yeah. that was tall was old Clay Thompson hanging out on the three point line. Uh, nah, that was good. Their, their basketball IQ well, was one a bit of them, better than ours. One of them added me, actually, so we can um, go uh, for another pick out yeah. there again. Oh, not the filthy ones trying to get him back. Oh, I was watching um, YouTube clips on like three on three plays. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we're talking about it before. Yeah, it is. I know I dare. New place. We're in a new place soon. Ooh, hopefully. hopefully, we get this new place three better and a pool. Hectic, hectic. That'll be good. That'll um, be mad. So I suppose you won't be coming over for another six months. Then? Nah, no, we'll, we'll put a yeah, spread on it. But once we get a bit oh, more space, will we put a spread on? What? Will we put a spread yeah, on? Yeah, I've it? already told everyone too. But well, once we get this place, bar, the barbecue area at the back and that heavy room. Are you going to get a new roommate from the Dragons? Chance or nah? Nah, that was a massive G up. He want, um, the Duff wanted me to move in with him. Oh, really? Because he wants to get a house. But I said, Bar, come move in with us. Bar. Yeah. And he's like, Oh, I don't know, brother. <laughs> Yo this man, snack, uh, you this know, snack, brother. This snack. Is that how he's talking? Huh. Is that how he talks? Uh, um, nah, so we just see nah. up. You know, uh, Lassie does. Lassie oh, does. brother. Yeah, man, oh, man. <laughs> What's Lassie been up to? Trying to save no. money here and there? Yeah. Um, Fuck, he's the tightest bloke. Tight, um, never feels good. <laughs> oh, never up. Email. Always sore. Yeah. Um, Same questions. Nah, but he's actually nah, he's, the, he's honestly one of the best blokes you need around the club, like a footy on a, club. On his good day. Yeah. But he's just funny. Yeah. yeah he's, got oh, these, tell you what. Uh, he's got these shit headphones at the moment. Like, <laughs> you, know the, you know the wireless ones? Yeah. So, like, he's got them, like, it's like the, the air, what are the air one? Pods. Air, AirPods. They're like that, but they're like a different version. And they, you know, his ears, you don't want to be bringing any more attention to those ears. <laughs> and he goes and gets these earphones. And, you know, um, I don't know if you know, <laughs> when, um, when people are towing, like, caravans, they get that extra side mirror. Oh, on the one, side yeah, of the yeah, mirror, yeah, that's yeah, what it looks yeah, yeah. like. Oh, oh, really? oh, it's fucking hilarious. Oh. Oh, it's hilarious. So. How's, it, how's he copying it? Nah, yeah. Um, it's the best when Gaz gives him shit. <laughs> yeah. goes, how's the um, mess? <laughs> how's the bus? How bus <laughs> Gaz saying this all the time. What's that? That bus. What bus? Is there like still full on that? Dragon no, bus? Dragon's bus? No, nah, it's different now. Yeah. Like, the other day, we all drove all of us separately. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to. Last would have drove the bus <laughs> to save money on fuel. Oh. Nah, nah. Hey, Norm's not jumping the view, eh? Nah. <laughs> everyone, everyone had their different thing on. I was like, I don't want to drive down by myself. Mm. So I just made sure I had a good mix and just fucking jam it. It's good. He's, he's a newie this week, eh? Yeah, we leave tomorrow, actually, team running and then cruise up there. So that's end of Ponger, eh? The fullback. For now, to five eight, easy fullback. The yeah, I think so. eh? that was just probably more by everyone outside. eh? Jerkin hundred. Yeah. Well, thing I Connor Connor Watson got injured in the YA. Yeah, that. Yeah, I think they would have switched anyway. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Yeah, hundred percent. Didn't you say he walked in and said, "I want to play five eight? Yeah, he, he wants to play five eight, but then like if it's not working, you got to like switch it around. Don't you? you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I feel like it's more like people. Like outside, yeah, outside, outside of football, like yeah. maybe pressure on Browning or something like that. Yeah. Getting back there, he's, you know on, I mean? um, he's he's on a weird contract. That he's performance based contract. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah, he's on he's he's under heaps of teriyaki measure. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Browning. Browning. He's on like a performance based contract, so he has Who's to ma- he has to make certain like targets before his contract. Oh, before the pretty, no. pretty interesting sort of. Imagine was that like with footy? Yeah, it'd be all time. Hmm. Oh, good and bad. Not to uh, to Vita Pango every weekend. Yeah. Trying to get a raise. Oh. <laughs> do you see? Do you see that shot he put on Gronk? Do you think yeah. it was dirty? Nah. Oh, I reckon it was. Eh? Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm just a, like, there's a bit in it. Like he, he's like, he's basically like turned yeah. right around. And he's kind of hit him late. But I, f- like, I feel like he always gets it late. Eh, oh man, he would have. How did he play that grand final with like his back like that? Wow. Yeah, heck what a freak. Play for bonuses, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, everyone be killing it. Mm. All right, uh, last question we're going to hear. We're about 25 minutes now. We'll keep it around 30 minutes. Upbringings. You boys had both had different types of upbringing compared to me. I'm pretty straight compared to you boys. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you want to touch on it or? Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm pretty sure everyone's sort of like. I will. <laughs> yeah. Don't you, Chico? Nah. My, I yeah. think yeah. Um, I'm obviously mum raised me on her own. Um I don't. I don't know my dad. I've never met my dad. Mm. Um, he was. Um, he was Kiwi. So um, 
Yeah, that's cool. Oh, so it's all the, all the people that you've been telling you're Tahitian, <laughs> <laughs> especially females. Yeah, if he, t- he tells girls he's Tahitian and they uh, believe him oh, too. Oh, the Caribbean feel about me. Eh? <laughs> that Tahitian glow. Look nah. at that Tahitian glow. Yeah, so yeah, I've never met my old boy, so that's um, that's a bit weird. Like, so you have never ever met him? Nah, never. Do you want to? No, I did. Oh, my mum asked me when I was about 12, 13. So you don't even know what he looks like. Nah. Nah, but he apparently he was bad. Like he was in and out of jail and stuff like that. So probably a good thing I didn't meet him. <laughs> yeah. So uh, not the running it. <laughs> ah. running the- hey, the a- apple don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. So seeing mum raised me on her own. Um, but we're lucky that mum's one of um one of four, and she's got four brothers. So pretty big family, pretty tight. We all lived. Um, Hit a pop in that. Oh, yeah, pop. Mm. Yeah, um, that and pop were good. Um, yeah, we were very lucky that we had um, good family around us because um, mum, you know, would work all the time. I'd just be at my cousins or my auntie and uncles, so um, that was good. And then other than that, she basically yeah worked backside off to give me everything I had. So I can't really. You grew, up, you grew up in a pretty rough area. Yeah, too, I grew yeah. up in Eagleby, which is. I was talking to Larry about pits. it one time, and he's going, yeah. "Oh, normally could have all the excuses in the world for like why yeah. certain things, but he says never used it before." Nah, I yeah. give him credit for that. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah." Nah, it was. It, it's yeah, like of. It's pretty bad. Like, it was bad back in the day. Like, mm. it's, it's cleaned up heaps, but, like... What do you think was, like, the nah. the light that went off in your head say, so, okay, I need to do this. I don't know. Keep away from this, 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 and this. I don't know. It's just, you like, just what, what, this year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I don't know. Like, because, like, growing up, I was, like, around stuff. Like, you probably kids weren't around. I, yeah, like, you know I what I mean? Like, so... I don't know. I've always been. It's just an. It's just the norms, for like normal for me. So yeah. like, I don't know. And like, like, like Leary's like said to you, but like, I've had plenty of excuses. But like, I'm lucky enough. I've had like a good family yeah. as well. So. Yeah. I don't know, but it's just your mum would flog you too. I reckon. Oh the yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> I was so scared of the old girl. Way like she goes, you like you know like. Do whatever, but if you get caught, oh my <laughs> god! And old Sando, she's got a temper. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, but so, yeah, nah. Uh, Normie's old girl Sando, she reckons she got a weapon left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow no, Sando. Don't mess with the left, she reckons. Yeah. But um, nah, I don't know, man. It's, yeah, it's pretty cruisy. But like I said, you done it right, haven't you? You bought your mum a house. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that's 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 a match of badge of honour. Yeah, yeah. Sure, so. Yeah. Giving all your friends money. Oh. <laughs> oh. Imagine if you started collecting interest on yeah. all the people you've given money over the years. Yeah, but it's not even about that. It's just to try to help them out, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Hey, he's a good bloke, people. Uh, he Chico, is, he yeah, is. a little bit of a blind side. So- Anyone seen the movie Blind Side? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very similar, eh? Very, very similar. So pretty much um, moved over to, from Papua New Guinea when I was about six, seven. Um, <laughs> Dad worked as a, bit, as a businessman in uh, Papua New Guinea. Um, he was like a why, BWS. Why, why'd you move over here? Oh, because my dad, because um, every like Friday, then back in the old days, they used to go bank, go to the bank, then like bank their money for the week, like yeah. they made, you know what I mean? So he was in the bank. Um, robbers came in, like two or three of them. Um, next minute, um, him and another bloke overpowered the robbers. And as soon as they got out, like they, everyone was sweet, like they overpowered them, like hit him and stuff, like. One of them, I smashed a chair over. Um, my dad smashed a chair of one of the bank robbers. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> so it's PG, man. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's another true, world. Yeah. Is that like a handshake over there? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it's another world. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that one got me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my um, yeah, dad, all I remember, like when I was young, my dad, like, um, where our land is, where we had a night, we had like nightclubs, <laughs> we had like uh, bottlers, like we would, like <laughs> milk. <laughs> what? Nah, just a PNG nightclub. Yeah, right. Oh, oh man. The Casablanca. Me, I'll tell you what. <laughs> give me a giggle, mate. Like. Oh, I'll tell you what. You think bloody um, nightclubs here, st- floors are sticky. Oh. oh. That said, mud slide in there. Oh. And um, anyway, I see my, see my dad. He had this like red turbo diesel like uh, Land Cruiser. Mm. Oh, um, flash? Yeah, he's a flash, bro. Flash cool. We're, we're, pro- we're proper rich fellows, man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just, all I remember just him. The, come from the highway, like pulling into like the big land we had, like with the nightclub and like where we lived and stuff like that. And then he was just got on his knees and started crying. And he had a Canberra Raiders jersey on. Mm-hmm. 
And then he goes, this this is like, this is not good enough. Like, I'm, I'm moving you guys to Australia. So in 2004... Well, we did, actually, he, did he have, like, threats on him or something? No, no, it's just because, like, when, you, when you're a father, yeah. I suppose, you do, when you want your kids, the best for your kids and you want them to be safe and oh, stuff. Oh, so you're just knocking about nightclubs when you're younger and that? No, not, like, not knocking about nightclubs, but I was just young. Like, that's my dad's life. But, like, yeah. you know, he was always around the whole country of PNG. So um, we ended up... 2000, I mean... 994, we ended up um, going to Cairns and then um, I went with my dad and we found land where we wanted to build a house. Mm. Found land, built a house, and we moved over. Um, long story short, my, my dad ended up being bankrupt. He didn't know um, – because he used to distribute alcohol like a BWS, he didn't yeah. know the tax laws are different. No, no, the, the alcohol company, which is SB, which is uh, South Pacific Lago, mm. um, was stealing money from him. Oh, wow. So, like – Back in them days, you have to write down, like, you know, it didn't have proper, like, you know, oh, tax yeah. invoices um, invoices and that. Yeah. So they wouldn't write down the right amount and stuff like that. And, like, it's real corrupt in there. And that's oh, yeah. shady. Yeah, it's real corrupt in Papua New Guinea. Anyone that knows PNG, it's really corrupt. And um, and we also um, had other other businesses, like we had um, lodges and stuff, and my uncles used to look after it and never used to give them money for when they got the rent from the people um, renting out stuff. So... A lot of things had to factor. Plus, um, yeah, gone bankrupt, and then my, my me and my mum and dad's relationship um, ended up deteriorating. Yeah, and um, it's <laughs> Papua New Guinea is like a beautiful, lovely place, but it's also funny in the sense of um, it's still back back in them times where um, the mistress lives with the wife. Some of them. What? Yeah. Well, so you could be you could be married. You could and be then married, have a, have a mistress, and like you've moved on from your mistress, have your girlfriend, and they live together in the same hut. The same area. Get over PNG, normally. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but I and the kids, and, 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 and like, um, you know, there's, it's got like the, the <clears throat> normal kids and the step kids all just oh. level oh. one, everything, everything. So it could be a community. So back in the day, you know, what, back in cult? the village. Nah, yeah, man. <laughs> like back in the day in the village. So anyway, um, my, we ended up getting bankrupt, wasn't like, had enough, you know, enough money to go to the school even. So. Um, How long did you miss out on school for? Like a, a full year. How old were you? Well, two, I was. About uh, 13, turning 13. So that's when you like become a teenager. So that was like a crucial time where you think you know everything and stuff like that. You, you yeah. end up talking back to your parents and your hormones are going up and down and <laughs> all around and all this. What about back in PNG? How many? No, he's in Kansas. He's in Kansas. Nah, but in PNG, did you miss any school there? Nah, nah, nah. Nah? Oh, actually, uh, kindergarten. First day, first day of school, ended up punching a white fella in the face. Ah. <laughs> and then they got sent home from school, so I was about three years old, whatever. Tough fella. <laughs> yeah. Still had the right job back then. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, so you're 13, yeah. So I'm 13, and then um, we went bankrupt, and my all my siblings ended up uh, moving over to, like, uh, Gove, Nulamboy, which is uh, Arnhem Land near um, Darwin, Northern Territory. And my auntie lived there, so they ended up living with um, her for a little bit, and then, um, for, for, and I was I was with my mum, and my mum got remarried to 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 an Aussie fella, yeah, and they had a kid, and um, it sort of felt like her, she had a little life, and my my, my siblings moved away. Oh, so you were in limbo. I, so yeah. I was in limbo, but I, every weekend because I wasn't going to school, and I used to see these kids going to school, and I used to envy them so much, and like, oh man, I just wish I could go to school. What are you doing like, at home every day? No, nothing. I just I just what, sit on the chores or something. Yeah, or like no? sit at chore, like little chores, but like I was I'd go thirteen. Surely you're doing something. No, honestly, like I'd be there. I'd be looking because my mum had a kid. Yeah. So I I was sort of half looking after him as well. Yeah. So that's why I'm really like you love kids, eh? Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm like with Normie because he's like <laughs> he's my little son. <laughs> uh, uh. But anyway, so um, every weekend, so. If, Tuesday, Thursday was footy, and that's all I looked forward to. Mm. All I looked forward, or any that was the only thing that sort of kept me alive. Not alive, but in the sense of like I've like, feel normal. Yeah, yeah. So every time I'd be good. Footy, were you good? Were you a good footy player when you were a kid? I wasn't that great. What the yeah. man child? No. <laughs> yeah, he was big, eh? No. <laughs> Mate, you haven't even seen. I was seeing players. Oh, right, you see my videos. I mean, my under twelve grand final video. I was playing fullback. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. So any um, good or what? Oh. Not the lethal right foot. Right. <laughs> I, was, I should have got me in the match that game. I don't know why. Didn't you were good as a kid, eh? Coming through? Uh, get that, we should get that little Jonathan Thurston in the yeah, Queensland. Yeah, you don't make, <laughs> make Queensland and everything. Yeah. I don't make, make any rep size until I was like 15, 16. Yeah. So anyway, so um, my mate, my best mate at the time when I was like 13 um, was Trent Barnard. 
And um, I, used to, I used to go to his house every Friday, boom, like clockwork. Yeah. Every Friday. Ended up telling, telling the story of how um, – what happened with my parents and that. And then he, his old man was like, um, oh. talk, to, talk to Susan, which is mum. Yeah. Uh, so then Sue um, ended up – they ended up just pretty much taking me in. That's and like – that's just, all time, yeah, mate. That's all time. Or a sliding door moment, like legit. I don't think I would be anywhere near the place I am today without them, like yeah, legit, exactly. like – and you, like you guys met, I'm um, Dean and Sue before mum and dad. It's um, your birthday yesterday, eh? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, happy birthday, mum. <laughs> um, but you, man, they they yeah, got like the biggest hearts in the world, biggest hearts in the yeah, world. 100. But like that, at that period of time where you're like a teenager, and I was like, every time I tried to talk to my mum, I felt like I was walking eggshells. Mm. And like anyone that knows South Pacific or like Pacific Islanders. Oh, if you drop a glass, if you do anything like clumsy, and I was so clumsy because I was so scared of it. You know how clumsy I am. Oh. I break everything. <laughs> so I'd end up getting, bro. She'd end up, she had these, she had to cut these sticks like a, this, this thick man, and I also oh, get flogged, belted up. all the time. Yeah. I've been belted with a frigging horse whip oh. and the and the jug of a cord, like yeah, like, I've seen oh, a few boys. Man, the few of my mates stuff get like that. smack off that. Oh, <laughs> so, jug of a cord. <laughs> so anyway, so I ended up moving it in with them, and my mum sort of understand because she had sort. Of, I felt like she had her own life. Yeah, you know, she's gone on her own path and. Lucky enough, I had Dean and Sue, and they've like raised me as one of their own. Pay for my school fees, pay for my clothes, yeah. pay for my food, everything I've That's got. Gave me, good. gave me money. Like honestly, put on a spread too. Put on, I oh, put on a spread, oh, and they just can from, cook. Just from like I think um, the appreciation of you get when I think it drove me more. As soon as I played like a good game of footy after I finish, yeah, would I'd go up and I see the appreciation or the, like the gratitude of Dad's face, or so yeah. how proud he was of me, and like Dean's face, and Mum's like and. You know, they just half cry sometimes and, and, you know, just to feel that feeling of, you know, you never... Feel you wanted, yeah, you feel wanted. Yeah. You don't want to let anyone down in the world, like, apart from, like, the new parents. It's the worst thing when they say they're disappointing you. Yep. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh. So that was a dream. Oh, have you had that before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you had that? That's oh, weird. oh, puss, 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 <laughs> puss. So then after that... Um, Next, everything's sort of history, and then they come. You've met them before. They've come once or twice a year down yeah. to Sydney. So I still talk to my mum and um, my biological mum and stuff like that, and my um, my um, biological family, like my, my my sisters and that. One of them lives in Dubai, but I suppose I'm going actually through counselling at the moment to talk about to actually write them each a letter. Oh, really? Yeah, just just I think it's just something in uh, my past that hasn't uh, enabled me to move on with my relationships with. Other people, yeah, not other people, but concerning females, yeah. So, Shit. yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's honestly like, well, I want to talk to the council about it because I wanted to go and see a counselor just from my perspective to to become a better person every day. Well, there's a it's weird, right. there's a weird stigma around counselors in yeah, Australia and shit. Eh? You oh, know, in America they're like everyone. No, oh yeah, like, yeah. we just yeah, we just don't we just don't get up and go. Oh fuck, I need to go see a counselor. Yeah, yeah. yeah like it's, I suppose you know the small poppy syndrome, which counteracts with the same as like the male. Sort of like you know attitude towards seeing someone or talking about your feelings, but yeah. I've always you know how emotional I get. And I, I'm pretty. He's about he's about pretty I emotional. Cry right? at the drop of a hat, <laughs> especially <laughs> having a few beer. Oh my oh. god! So um, I'm I want, very emotional. I just want to see a counselor because I wanted to work on like how, how to be a better person and like you know treat others better and not have this um, you know this footy mentality, should I say, like sometimes, you know, we we live in, we do a sport that's so ego driven, you know what I mean? And like sometimes we think we're better than we are, but we just do a sport, like a sport. We don't, like we, in a way we're changing people's lives, but like doctors and stuff like that, they, they actually change people's lives. And but you can it, inspire a kid being a yeah, footy player, exactly. you know what I mean? Because yeah. we looked up to yeah. footy players. Yeah, 100%. You can like, ins- but it's just entertainment. Sports yeah. just inter- – we just yeah. – you just fucking cattle. Yeah. Yeah, you just 100. throw them out on the field, but, smash each other, try and get two points. Yeah. Everyone just go. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's what I wanted to do, like see how I can utilise that better as a person and not always – you know, sometimes it comes to the point where you, start, you get overwhelmed yeah. of like, you know, the fame and stuff like that and you don't want to – you do – but you don't want to take photos or like you just want to chill out sometimes and like enjoy your coffee or whatever. But I want to be more type of person who's so approachable and stuff like that. And with actually with with our brand as well and yeah. with YKTR and mm. tech and everything, you want to be, you know, you understand your 
we're under the spotlight and we're, I'm doing something that's bigger than myself, like with that with YKTR, you know, we're actually making people's lives, not people's lives change, but we're doing something to towards the community and we're giving stuff to the community that's, you know. Yeah, you guys have been um, big on community work lately. I know you guys don't really like to talk about it. I'm more pumped up than you guys. Um, but yeah, what we're, we're working with the homeless and that, how's that sort of come about? Yeah. Yeah. You boys are right into yeah. it, eh? I yeah. don't know. Um, I remember when we did, um, we did stuff back in the, I think it was 2011 maybe at the Bronx. Yeah. Um, Paul White got a few of us mm. younger boys down there feeding the homeless and and um, that was cool. Like we only did it for a little bit, a couple of months, yeah. but that was cool. But you'd always get that um, that feel-good feeling, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, you just felt good after you'd done something good. You, you, feel, know yeah. you feel half grateful too. Yeah, eh? well, it's a circle, uh, circle of life, really. circle that, of the universe. And then um, like the way like I've gotten into it lately is um, Chris, he used to work at the NRL, mm. got a hold of Chico one time and said, oh, come down and pass on clothing. And Chico dragged me along and I was like, oh, yeah. And I went down there and then. So, what sort of convos are you having with homeless uh, people? They just, want to, they just want to yarn, oh, eh? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of them down in Martin Place at Parramatta, they're, they're obviously they know football, like, yeah. you know what I mean? They're in mm. the city, they're around the area. So a lot of them know, you know, rugby league. So as soon as you get down there, they just come and just start chatting to you about anything, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So... And then you just you just have a normal conversation with them. So mm. and if they want to, you know, kind of let you let you in and let you know what they've been through and that, you kind of go down that path. But yeah. if they yeah. don't, you just keep them happy by you know talking a bit of shit and, yeah. and, and rugby league. So how good um, is that? Eh? You can make yeah. someone's day by talking a bit of shit in rugby league. Yeah. So and they get pumped and and like I said before, it's just kind of like a feel good. It's almost yeah. uh, it's kind of sad, but like when you see someone homeless, like you just kind of just walk past them. But don't the thing you? is, yeah. the thing is, like we, I mean, we're saying this. Every time we go overseas and we see homeless, we feel sorry for them. You give them money, yeah. and then you, you you come back home, you see homeless, and you just walk straight past them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, why do you, it's a bad attitude to have. I, was saying, I don't know. I don't know if it's an attitude thing, but oh. I just I don't know why it's just different, eh? Like, mm. like obviously now, like working with the homeless, like yeah, you, know, you get a great understanding. But yeah, yeah it's just weird. Yeah. Because I guess a lot, I bet you a lot of people do that. They go overseas and they see homeless and give them money. Yeah, yes. so and they and, and then like when that. they come back home, they don't do it. You know what I mean? I'll tell you uh, what, like the vibe down there too, like the energy and like you know, it's very like upbeat, it's very happy, very smart. Like everyone's so happy down there. It's like a good, good like air, like energy to have down there. Like oh, they got a good away. setup, man. So yeah. you go up the top, you got your, you get, bring your clothes in, you mm. wash your clothes, mm. dry them, and then the next one. Oh, is, they wash them there. The yeah, homeless people. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in they're, these yeah. vans. They're in the these vans. vans. You go yeah. in the next one. You can have showers there. Yeah. And then you go down to Chris's one, and then that's um on passing on clothing, and that's where they come in, pick what they want. They have got girls and boys. The, yeah, this thing is. Shoes. It's yeah, good because it's, it's like set up as in Chris set up and type of like format where like you, you feel like you're actually shopping. So he's like racks it up and you're oh, like, yeah. you know, like because yeah, yeah, they yeah. feel like they're actually shopping. Feel normal again. Yeah, yeah. Not, not just like boom in a, in a bag, like pick out where you want, like go through a bag, but he's actually like folded them up, boom, put them on racks. So everyone just goes through the clothes. Here's an interesting question. If you were homeless, how would you try and get out of it? Where would you start? Where would I start? Mm. I wouldn't, I would never beg. I'll just, I'd, I wouldn't beg for money, but I'd just go around and like um, ask for the shittiest jobs and stuff. I I wouldn't be homeless for long, 100%. I've got too much drive. <laughs> yeah, you know? Um, oh, I don't know. It's an like, easy, easy thing to look at is like could, just cry, mate. I like think for yeah, easy, like I think, short term. I think you'd have to clean, like, the first step would be like staying off the drugs or alcohol yeah. if that's one of your problems. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not all homeless people, a lot of people, you know, sometimes there's a bit of bad luck and they go homeless, but. Um, yeah, I'd probably clean up my life first and then, yeah, just ask to go get a job, like just, talk, just clean up toilets. Oh, there's one guy down there. Um, he's just about, he almost, he's going to get a job. Is that, next, is that the one just got, got I don't know if he's going to, yeah, I don't know if he's got it. He was going in, but he goes, yeah, I'll get it. I was like, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> That's mad. That was so cool that time. Yeah. Man. I was like so happy for him. He's like, yep, I'm setting up my, I've got a job. Yeah. Like I'm about to get this job. My oh, my, my daughter and that. Yeah, so, so I was like, wow, it's and there's so a good. F- there's a few down there that just been um, put in housing as well. So yeah, there's a bit of a mad vibe down there at the moment. The locals. That's good. Good on you, boys. Special mm. coming um, from winter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the little story on the kid that sort of went a little bit yeah, viral. That went, yeah, that went crazy. Yeah. Hey, like, he's he's your little mate, isn't he, Chico? Yeah. Um, who's that? Little, so, yeah, the that, kid that um, yeah. Normie dropped off after. Oh the game. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he always comes in um, to Flow Expresso where. Jason's cafe where I work and um, our next door is Bonfire. So he always comes in 
No, I seen him one day the there when yeah. Chico and that wasn't there. I thought Chico was there. Yeah. Seen him there talking and he was like, He loves me. the dragons. He loves. Yeah. Oh, dragons. Does and, he? No, sorry, yeah. sorry. Loves Penrith. He yeah. loves Penrith. Hey, them, yeah. them blokes. Yeah. <laughs> so, then, um, not the boys, Hilfie, they got rid of us. I don't know. Then when I seen him at the game, I was just like, What's doing? He's like, Nah, nothing, nothing. And he's like, I was like, Where do you live? He's like, Down the road. It was like a 15 minute drive and yeah. he was walking, going to walk. And I said, Oh, but just jump in. And then um, I just gave him a lift and, yeah, someone must have been around where we were talking. And yeah. Then, yeah. Do you know yeah. um, he's actually – he's gone to Malaysia. What, on his own? Wouldn't no, surprise no, no, yeah. me. <laughs> he went to Newcastle uh, the other week. On his own? On his own. He yeah. told his mum he was going down just to Penrith to watch the game, but it was in Newcastle. Oh, she, didn't have, she let him Pen- go into Penrith as well. Even oh, that's far. I'm yeah, tipping, well, I'm I'm tipping just, his, I think his parents might be old, eh, I reckon. Mate, yeah. No, like no. 12 years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's sad, really, isn't it? Like 13, but he just loves footy and like you know, I had to like give 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 him discount code because he ended up buying heaps of stuff of like KTR. Yeah. So I was like, thanks, he's probably appreciated. So <laughs> you just give him some free stuff. You have though, eh? Yeah, yeah. Give him a discount. Who's got money at 13? <laughs> no, he has heaps. So he has heaps of money. How's he getting that? Bro, his parents. Who knows? Oh, he's Asian. Okay. <laughs> Bro, he's, he's coming in like buying three or four coffees and that. Is he? Is he smacking coffees at yeah. thirteen? <laughs> Who's this kid, man? Get him on, yeah, bro. Yeah. Have, you, have you? Are you serious? Haven't you been to bloody half half the lebos there? Drink coffee, man. Wow. All the kids. Do they? <laughs> I was, wasn't touching it. Oh, I was nineteen, tell you, twenty. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm not short of sugar. Oh really? Oh, yeah, that's what it'd be. Yeah. yeah sugar. Hot chocolate, like all mockers and that. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll ask one little random question for you guys. We've talked about this before at dinner. Wow. Um, if you're on death row, what would you? Last meal be entree, dinner, and dessert. You go first, check. You know your food. Yeah. Oh, my meal would definitely be my dad's chicken carbonara. As, as your main? As my main. As my main. I might even chuck a snitty in there because. That's your last meal. You do, yep. what, you do what you want, but. Yeah. How much can, how many, how many can we put in like together? Like whatever. Nah, it's got to be like a meat and yeah. a side yeah. or something. Righto, righto. Ch- ch- my dad's chicken carbonara with the snitty. Does he make a good carbonara, did he? Oh. Man, the grouse. Yeah. Yes. Entree? Entree would be either something like sashimi, a kingfish in that. Weird mix. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> your last it's meal. death row, bro. It's got to, you just got to like do anything. Just cram as much as you can in. Oh, I don't even, yeah, cram, but just like, you know, it's pick anything in the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you going to pick? You do like? love a bit of sashimi, don't oh. you? <laughs> it's just a king. Oh. Is that, you'd brush dessert, wouldn't you? Pods. Nah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, the- no. I'd have a packet of pods, Snickers, and then I'd have um, a baked jam roll. Oh, yeah. With, um, good... That con- um, consour ice cream. That, that you... black tub, that black syrup. Yeah, is that, is, what's it called? Oh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. And then, and then I'll have like um, Cadbury as well, Cadbury, um, Oreo, Cadbury. Then boom, boom, that. boom so later. Mm. On tr- my entree would be probably. Um, would you have beer? Would you have, would you have, would you have a glass of red nah, or anything? Nah, nah. Glass of red? Entree would be um, oysters, bar. I'd have oysters for entree. Going out toey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't eat oysters to get toey. Oh, my God. The, ma- the world's most – Roman sand, I'll call him. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Go. <laughs> I'd go oysters for entree, uh, mumsy's um, chicken sh- – Chicken sh- Chicken sh- off. Chicken sh- Chicken off with – I'd have I'd have five of them little oh. baked rolls with heaps of butter, butter. Oh, warm, oh, yeah. yeah, warm. Oh, You'd have to bake them a bit, and then um, with heaps of salt. And then um, my um, my dessert would be um, family pack of Maltesers. Is that it? Game yeah. over. No ice cream. No. Yours? Oh. Garlic bread. <laughs> Easy. Easy. <laughs> nah. A bit Big fella. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably go pasta and something too. Hey, eh? last meal and just ice cream Sunday. I'm pretty chilled. Yeah. Um, Ice cream Sunday. Oh no, I'd probably go Kenzo, eh? Oh wow. Grilled salmon. Grilled salmon last meal. I'm probably just craving it because we're not we're not out them ways anymore. Yeah, true. I'm getting that straight after my game, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah, we went. Oh yeah, I seen um I seen Bevy intrigued just before when I came out here. I stopped and had a feed of them uh, at Frango's. They talking shit. What's that freaky seat doing? No, nothing, bro. I said, Oh, you got Chico this week? He goes, Yeah, bro. He's in the front line too, he's playing five eight. Who Bevy? Yeah. I'm gonna bust him up. Yeah. um, yeah, so Trigger's, Trigger's playing on... Uh, I, I dare on. say he'd be doing this hectic dummy old... Oh, yeah, the, yeah, oh my God, how fast yeah. is it? Yeah. <laughs> so that was a laugh. Yeah. All right, boys, thanks for jumping on. We'll do this a little bit more often, talk a bit of shit, but see you guys next time. Cheers for the question, guys. <laughs>